Portland Fox Business News Group, MBN, here with Tom McLeary, one of the leading MBEs nationwide, and so we're just going to glean from his wisdom a lot. Tom, how long have you been in business? Uh, 30 years, over 30 years. Oh my, and tell us what all you do. Uh, we're an employee benefit consulting firm, insurance brokerage firm. Okay. Uh, we help companies design, implement, and uh, manage their employee benefit programs. Okay, okay. What are some of the um, things you would tell MBEs to do to take their companies to that next level? Um, they need to grow. Okay. They need to see as many people as possible, and they need to be an expert in their field. So whatever they're doing, they need to learn it. They really need to learn it. They okay. Need to, they need to. What I found is that MBEs, for whatever reasons, don't tend to participate in their industry. Okay. They okay. view it as being a non-minority industry, which it is. Okay. But they still have to get in there and participate. And be a part of it. And that. be a part of that because they are, like it or not, they're a part of that industry. Okay. And they really need to get involved and participate. And they get so much education that way. You know, they learn from other folks in the industry. You know, so it's it's something that must be done. Okay. Now, having been in business 30 years and yes. already heard somebody today called you a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Never been called a legend. Before. I tell you yeah. what, I tell you what, <laughs> you are, you know. And I think a lot of people don't realize that um, entrepreneurs who have stayed the course are legends in their own time, people who have just kept on keeping on, as they say, keep on keeping on. But anyway, what are some of the success tips that you would give some MBEs to just hang in there? Uh, this may be a little bit unusual, okay. Uh, and everybody would say, of course, work hard. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with the, you know, the work hard right, and all right, of that. We right. all know that you have to do right, that. And, right, you know, right. Only way to success. But you also have to enjoy life. Okay. Okay. You have to give back to your community. Exactly. And if you do those two things in conjunction with your work ethic. You know, you will be successful. I am amazed at how my community involvement has been good for my business. Okay. It was never that intent. Right. You right, know, I right. gave back because I've been lucky, I've been successful, and I need to give back. But, you know, the joy of giving back seems to energize you. It really does. Uh, I'll it tell does. you a story. We, uh, you know, we give scholarships okay. to students as part of this CBOF event. Oh, and sorry. normally we give five three thousand dollar scholarships okay. but the kids were so outstanding this year that we gave an additional two scholarships oh, and wow. uh, we raised the money in about five minutes to oh, do that wow. so we could we could give two other student scholarships and one of those last two students came up to us at the at the uh, luncheon and said she had been accepted at harvard wow. didn't think she wow. could go and this three thousand dollars we gave her made the difference. Because you know, it'll at least get her ticket there. <laughs> you, you know, know? it a was blessing. It, it was. It was a blessing, and you know things like that that you do to make you feel good. Right. You know, just energize you and make everything else so much easier. Right. So right. those would be two secrets that you know maybe not everybody talks about. But, but they're ones that make a true difference. They make a true difference. Right, yes. right. Tell me this, what are some of the milestones that you've had to jump over, hump mm -hmm. over? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they're quantum leaps. Okay. I call them quantum leaps. Okay. You know, you grow, but then something will happen, and you'll make a large uh, jump. Right. Uh, our first one, <laughs> was when we decided to be a national firm. Okay. And not just a local firm. Okay. And that created a quantum leap. Our business grew, grew dramatically because of that decision. So throughout times there have been things like that that have occurred that have driven the business you know, forward at a rapid pace, and then you manage that growth. You have to right. quickly manage that growth. Exactly. And get it under control, but if you're able to do that and harness it, you know, then it's smooth sail. Uh, hire good people has been the other thing. Surround yourself with experts. Exactly. With people smarter than you. Exactly. And for me, that wasn't difficult to do. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, right, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, anyway. But bring in people who are, you know, who 
have expertise. In the areas you need. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And bringing yeah. people who do things well that you don't do well. Exactly. Okay, both exactly. from a clerical area, from a professional area, but you bring in people that have that expertise, and that really helps you. Right. Okay. Well, okay. thank you so much. Well, thank you We're very much. We're excited to know the legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never live this down. I will never live this down. Jarlin Fox at CBOF with Mr. Tom McLeary. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Tom. Thank Appreciate you very you. much. Okay. Appreciate you.